All right, today we're going to be tightening up a slump buster. This is a size 8 A-Rex hook. It's a FW530. My name is Jim Sens, and we're down at Caddisfly tying up a really fun fly to swing in front of the boat. So the first thing I put on was a size small brass cone in matte black. We're going to do about 20 wraps of .20 lead or lead free wire, your choice, whatever you want to do. Just break off that. Snug it up underneath there. And then we're going to use some Phoebus 10 aught in black as soon as I get it set up. may have forgot to switch threads, but you know, it's fine. Alright, and then we start the thread right behind the lead wraps. I like to go down about the width of the cone, and I go back up. And this just kind of builds a little bit of thread to smooth out that transition from the hook shank to the lead wraps. Come down to about right before the barb, go back up, break off that, and end right there. Now we're going to take some Zonkered Pine Squirrel from Wapsi, and I want it just a little nubbin out the back, so about half the length of the overall hook. Place that little part right there wet my fingers a little bit and I tipped it towards me so when I wrapped over it walked it on top of the hook shank. Four wraps, pull it back, wrap up. At this point we're gonna use some Lankerton Fire Blade when I can find it again in my bag of because I forgot that I needed it, so found it. Gonna, this is just going to be the body. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. You can do whatever you want. You can do this in any color combinations you want to do. However you want to do it. Olive is a really good one. This black is probably one of my favorites. Brown. There's also natural pine squirrel that you can do. You want to stop about a width of the cone back so you leave room for all the stuff that you're going to tie in. Just wrap this forward, tie it off. Okay. So, this is where our first little loop is coming in. We're going to do some rabbit that I already cut off the skin. You can do whatever color you want. I like this color just because it's pink and purple and it looks nice as a throat. You can do red, which is a really common color to do. Just stick that in there. Snug it down. Spin it. Pick up that part, wrap this around, when you get the rabbit on there, you should get roughly one to two full turns. Not, you don't want it to be a lot, just a little bit. It's just an accent, it's not meant to be like a poofy supporting collar or anything like that. It's just adding some color into your fly. So now that we've got that on, take our pine scroll. Pull that over the top, separate out what you want, four wraps to lock it down, wrap back on it to where your first little dubbing went in or your rabbit went in, take a little bit of Flash, I just do one strand, one simple strand on each side. So you tie that in. One, two, 
three, grab it, flip it to the other side. Trim them so they're just shy of the end of the tail. That's actually about perfect. And then we're going to do another dubbing loop. Well, we're going to do a composite, whatever you want, not a composite. Be a loop for the fur. And this time we're going to use the same exact pine squirrel that we used for the tail. And I already got that prepped in this little Stompho clamp. With this, you want to sneak it down as much as possible onto the thread so you just have a little tiny bit sticking out. You want to get as much length out of this pine squirrel as possible. Spin it up. Just wrap it around. Watch out for your flash on that first wrap. Sometimes you can catch it and pull it all the way around. This is such a quick, little easy trout spay fly to tie out. You can fish it on a single hand. You can do trout spay with it. I do it a lot. It's just great. And then all you do is just whip finish and you're done. Go fish this thing. Cutthroat on the Willamette love this fly. Rainbow, Cutthroat, all the fish on the McKenzie love this fly. And that is all done. Get out there, tie some up, fish them.